Hi everybody, I'm Jim. I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Arise. Yep. And I still haven't died. Should you have? Like, is that a thing that you were looking for? Well, I'm never looking for it. Alright, I'm just hollowing out this corner. So I'm going to move all my bee machines over to my bee sphere. Hmm. And I'm going to get it set up with bees. I'm also going to test something while I'm over there. Okay. I want to see if milk puts out fire. I'm pretty sure it does. But, because we're running low on blaze rods. And if I want to keep making ender chests and ender tanks, I am going to need some blaze rods. Yeah, those can uh, be speaking important. of fire, yeah, my mob farm is on fire. There must be some sunlight getting in somewhere. No, no, it's the outside. That's strange. There's fire all over. Oh God, it's spreading. The cursed earth is. It's spread outside. You forgot yeah. to contain the cursed earth. Uh, that's cool. I got this. It's because there's some dirt blocks in contact with the, uh... Uh, on... I didn't realize it spread on the diagonal. Okay. We're just going to pull those out. i got to try and remember what I was doing because I got distracted. And we're going to replace them with stone, assuming we have some. Yep, we got a little bit. Oh, right. I think I remember what I had planned for today, and it's going to require me to go on a trip if I'm right. A trip to where? The Magical Forest. Twilight Forest? Nope. Oh no, the Magical Forest. Yeah. The notion that those are different places is kind of funny. Well, I just remembered I don't have Silverwood. Ah. I didn't okay. need it at the time, but now so I do. So that should keep my Cursed Earth from escaping. I'm not super worried about it because, I mean, they're exposed to the sunlight, so it'll just burn in the sunlight. I'm more worried about it accidentally burning something down. Hmm. On the other side, we have this lovely grove that is perfect for bees. Bees are so relaxing. Apiris backpack. So modest is gonna do us any good because this isn't the desert. But we can put a forest princess in there. And a meadows queen, and these will now start uh, actually working because they're happy with the temperature and the humidity. So bees don't work when, depending on how they're bred, bees won't work when it's night or when it's raining. But the rest of the time, they will keep running. So, I almost went yep. out on my adventure without uh, switching back to my armor. Ooh, that, that seems like a bad idea. Yeah. I am going to run some energy conduit because I've been using flux duct because I had some leftover flux duct. But what I should be using is energy conduit from Ender IO. It honestly depends on how much power you have to run through the conduit. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to keep my cabling consistent. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, then you should be completely machines. rewiring the workshop then. Well, yeah, I know. <sighs> Wishful uh, thinking here, right? Yeah, if only you actually had time to do this stuff. Yup. Alright, so we're going to load the carpenter up here. Um, actually, here, we're going to put this the carpenter on one side. Here and the squeezer on the other. Because these two take a lot of that's the not the squeezer, that's the centrifuge. Or that's the carpenter. And that's the centrifuge. Carpentry machines all look the same, FYI. Because the squeezer is gonna create uh, seed oil for us, and we're gonna need to put that into the carpenter, but it's not gonna be the only thing we need to put into the carpenter. So that's going to be that particular. Do we need to put bees um, into the carpenter? No, bees are going to go in the in the analyzer. Do the results go in the carpenter? Mm, no. Okay. What does the analyzer tell you anyway? Uh, it tells us the genus of bees. Sure. So, it's it's really helpful for bee breeding. So it lets you know how smart they are. Among other things, yes. Sort of deciding how I want to organize this. Probably going to put the analyzer down near the bottom. And the last thing is the centrifuge. So just how genius are your bees? I don't know yet. This interview right on top. So hey, this looks like a friendly do. place to visit. The thing with carpentry machines that makes them a pain in the butt is they will continue to use power even if they're not being used. Mm, it's generally such a small amount though. Yeah, but it's consistent enough that if if you don't have renewable energy, it can drain your reserves. Like we have. Yes, and we of course are running on re renewable energy, so we are fine. How's our cursor situation? You it know, is. It appears to be contained. You know, we need to find a way to convert Minecraft power into real life power, and if we could figure out how to do that, we'd be like multi-millionaires. Uh, if we could figure out how to do that, we would be wizards. Which would be even better. It'd be, Dude, it'd be imagine cool. if I had magic in real life. Uh, I'm trying not to. Why? Um, because you have magic in Minecraft and you're basically a tyrant wizard. Yeah, but I don't think real life people would let me do it. Uh, that's true. Real life people would probably kill you. So um, I'd have to wait until I found a way to keep them from killing me before doing it. Sure. And since that's never going to happen, the world's safe. That's definitely the, the, the lesson to take away from that. What's up, Minotaurus? Do you want to fight? I'll fight you. Especially now that you're in the water. You'll oh, fight. you're dead! You'll fight her IRL? You, no. I, I, we just agreed that... you probably lose IRL. Probably. Alright. So actually, you, you don't the have other your thing I'm going to do Uber is test out whether or not milk puts out fire. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it does. I've got a couple buckets of milk. Oh man, you know what you should have done? You should have told me before I left and then I could have lit you on fire. Uh, it's cool. I can take care of the fire part myself. No, no, don't don't worry. It's fine. I, I, I'll be happy to help. So now I'm on fire. Maybe I should put the fire a little ways away from the milk. I think I need to grab some. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely on fire. Items. Yes, it does. All right, we're in business. You're welcome. Thank you for that uh, lovely piece of knowledge. So... Let's see if I can find some more bees. 
to populate our apiaries. So forest and meadow bees are definitely, for me, the way to start. Because then you can get into um, getting a steady supply of honeycomb, which can get you a steady supply of propolis, which you can use to build a bunch of things. Um, you need silky propolis. Silky propolis from jungle bees to make uh, larger backpacks. Um, you can also you need it to you need um, propolis and honey and because you need honey to analyze bees and sort of royal jelly and stuff to make um, alviaries, which are an advanced form of beekeeping. And then you can get into stuff like uh, genetically altering bees and things like that. Man, I still think I'm hearing voices from my speakers. Maybe my computer's possessed. Um, that's not impossible. I have a lot of stuff going on with my computer. Apparently your computer's possessed, too. It Do the be. voices tell you to kill and kill again? No, I don't think It's an they important are. question. I I, well, see, here's the problem. Is I can't make it what the voices, voices are saying. Uh, given every horror movie I've ever seen, don't try. Just, so, just. So, so what you're saying is I shouldn't listen to the audio recording of this afterwards to see if it picked it up and there's extra voices coming through? What I'm saying is if the voices almost always tell you to kill and kill again, so don't. So wait, you're saying that there could be, like, evil voices embedded in this video? That we can't actually hear, but could be subconscious. Oh, us I can hear it. Things. If you're looking for the evil voice embedded in this video, trust me when I tell you I can hear it. No, no, not that evil voice. I'm talking about one that would be like subliminal messages to our viewers. I I'm liking this. Maybe um, they're telling people that they should start worshipping me and granting me all kinds of mighty powers. I don't think that's going to happen. No. No. You'll edit the, the, the voices out, won't you? Uh, <sighs> Maybe they'll confirm. Sam's Harvest Craft has its own bees. That sounds like a blatant change of subject. Yeah. Trust me when I tell you that if you had some sort of weird subliminal mind control thing coming over Skype, I would have edited it out. I can edit out everything, every smart and erudite thing that Huck says during the podcast. I can edit out um, your little subliminal whatever. Hmm. But what if they're embedded in the XSplit video? Yeah, I can edit that too. Throw a okay. color filter on it. It screws the whole thing up. Uh, yeah, I'm on to you. Darn it. There goes that plan. Yep. Protecting our audience since, well, since the beginning of this year. I swear Swan I'm bees. Things. It's probably not good that I'm hearing things. It is a little concerning. I mean, but as long as they don't tell you to kill and kill again, it's probably fine. I'm picking up the harvest craft bees, but I don't actually know what they do. Like, it says that they interact with apiaries. So I'm intrigued by that. Okay, oh, I should go and see if that village has any bees. Because villagers can give you, I think it's valiant bees. And you can only get them in, vill in villages. From village apiaries. Which they do not have any of. Have you checked the villages in the mining world? No, I haven't been to the mining world. No. Mining world would probably be a great place to go be uh, journeying though, but sadly I will not be going to the mining world. I will be going to the nether to fight blazes. I hear there's bees in the nether. There are bees in the nether, but I'm not I'm not at that level of beekeeping yet. Uh, infernal bees, they produce some really cool stuff, like you get glowstone and 
um, all kinds of things. But they also um, they damage you when you're near them, and they take a bunch of additional conditions. And we're just not there yet. Like we're at the the barest beginning of beekeeping. stuff back in the storage system. Let's go put these bees in those apiaries and see what uh, happens. And let's charge the jetpack. You can also check on the mob system. Because I'm going to use that uh, essence along with an anvil and some other things to upgrade my armor. Hey Jim, am I allowed to kill cows that look at me funny? Sure. I'm not sure there'd be any cows left on the server if I did that. They all seem to look at me funny. Okay, then no. Sorry, for a second I thought we could have nice things. Who are you thinking of? I don't know. I mean, I am getting some nice things. Great. That's some silverwood nice logs. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. More fish rooms. Yeah, what's up with you and the fish rooms, man? Dude, listen, you gotta let your mind flow away and expand if you want to make any awesome discoveries. That's completely not true. I mean, I get it. You're the Richard Feynman of wizards. Sure. But, alright, so let's go to our apiaries, so now we've produced a forest princess, what we're looking for is honeycomb, because with honeycomb we're going to get, so Pam's Harvest Craft has its own apiaries, is what I've just learned. Which is super useful and is definitely not going to be confusing at all. Yeah. Why would it? So for now, we're just going to put those bees in the storage system. I found a forest hive. And we'll deal with them later. Ooh. You don't have a scoop, though, do you? Why would I have a scoop? Exactly. I have an axe. I can axe them to let me in. Uh, no, you need a scoop to get any decent bees out of, out of it. No, you're a creeper. Go away. It's a creeper. It's my craft screen reaper. Alright, so I'm going to get some blocks, and I'm going to head to the nether and start making it safe to fight blazes. Of course you will. I'm just going to, like, stand in milk and shoot blazes. <laughs> And that's when a wither skeleton jumps on his head. Yeah, that's not impossible. We mushrooms. They make okay. exploring forests so much more fun. You're a strange man. Uh, yeah, I hang out with you. That's true. Alright, so we've got cobblestone, we've got two, uh, two buckets of milk. Let's go to the nether. We should really, part of me thinks we should really, you know, move the nether portal somewhere closer, and another part of me is perfectly fine with having it over by the fear shack. Wait, you wanted a closer nether portal? I can do that for you. No, it's fine. Don't do that. Don't forget I said anything. I'm erasing your memory with these words. What? Exactly. Never mind. So I've got this, this plan. It's probably going to be really awesome. I'm excited. Requires villagers in a smelter? Nope. I found an unusual hive. Yeah, I've been seeing those. I'm not sure what their deal is. They're from Magic Bees. Yeah, I don't know much about Magic Bees. Neither do I. 
Probably and because I don't care about bees. Bees are amazing. That's what people keep telling me. So we've got blazes, and we've got, of course, down there is Power Station Enrique. Power Station Enrique being uh, named after it. In memory of Enrique, the turtle who uh, Jim, Jim threw in the lava, who died in a tragic accident when establishing Power Station Beta on the last server. Like I said, Jim threw him in a pit of lava. I had thrown him into the lava. Trust me, if I were throwing shit into the lava, Enrique would not have been the first person to the thing to go in there. Is what I'm saying. So I. Out of curiosity, are we allowed to sacrifice turtles to the volcano gods? What? No! Turtles are friends. Well, yeah, you don't sacrifice enemies to the volcano gods, do you? Yes. Yes, you do. That's... God, you don't even know about the volcano gods. No, I really don't. Yeah, this is going to work out. Jesus, I just face-planted a uh, concussion creeper and shot him before he could explode. Nice! I still see a Minecraft sending me subliminal messages telling me to kill everything. Get the milk out. Which is weird, because I figured if I was going to be getting messages like that from my game, it would be when I was in the nether. Maybe it's got had to come to the overworld because I wasn't going to the nether. <sighs> Does it tell you to kill and kill again? Maybe. I can't quite make out the words yet. I'm going to focus on the mark. Great. I can't see how that could go wrong. Me either. I'm hearing something about a book bound in human flesh. That's probably not a good start. No? I mean, what could be wrong with that? My first guess would have... Ah! Well, I'm not seeing a death message. So, good news, bad news. Okay. Um... Milk does put out fire. Bad news? Milk evaporates in the nether. Ah. Well, you could try searching the nether for pools of blood to stand in. That is not the worst idea I've heard, but... I mean, bathing in blood is a good hobby. I really need to get some fire resist gear. Uh, the upside is I can at least stand back here and crossbow some blazes. Yep, yeah, and just picture what will happen when you go to pick up the rods. I'm not super worried. You still got another bucket of milk? I have one more. Okay, so you can extinguish As long as I'm at like full health, it's probably, like it's pretty much fine. And I've got lots of steak to keep me there. Just sort of conditioning this area. So what you're saying is you've got a steak in the nether? Yes. I have a steak in the nether. There we go. Oh man, I can see the desert again. This would be great running through it at night. What? I'm not sure if you were an enemy or not, but I shot you anyway. What? I said I'm about to run through the desert at night. No. Oh. Seems fine. Continue. Not sure how this could go wrong. I recommend learning to fly. Oh, I'm going to get to there. i got to get my workshop set up.
Man, this crossbow has kind of turned Minecraft into an FPS for me. <laughs> right? Yeah, as long as I'm fast enough to draw down on these blazes before they can uh, get me, I'm uh, I'm pretty fine. So thanks to Dan Bull, I get songs going through my head every time I see certain things. Dan Bull is awesome, and people should definitely check out his YouTube channel. Yeah. I've got his creeper rap going through my head right now. Nice. Ooh. <clears throat> More blaze killing next episode. Yay, I'm almost home. <laughs>